Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sayuno and we are going to modify our desktop from this to this. And to do that, let's get right started because uh, I have a uh, little baby girl and she doesn't know the meaning of manners yet. So if you hear any whining or grunting, that's what that is. Uh, we're going to pull up uh, Sharp Enviro, which is kind of the main shell that we're going to be doing. Uh, my fiance is also cooking in the background, so ignore that. But um, this is no longer supported. Um, and I'll have a link to the uh, to the download. We'll just go ahead and uh, click download here. Click right here for the download sharp. I'm going to kind of move quickly, so hopefully you can rewatch the video and see what I'm doing. And we'll just save that. Don't want to save it twice. Save that. Okay, there we go. Then we want to get Rocket Dock. Uh, it's actually free. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and download it right now. I'll have links to that as well. Then we're going to need a rain meter. Um, go ahead and get the beta version, 2.3. Save that. Now we get on to the art stuff. Um, all of these are from DeviantArt, and I'll have links to them. Uh, this first one is from Neo. It's called iBaked, and it's going to be uh, our theme for uh, Windows. I'm going to save that. Uh, next one is a token icon set from uh, BRZev. Um, they have a white and black variant. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Now these are just the things I'm using. You can certainly look and find other things to make the desktop uh, look the way you want. We're going to get the Eclair Cursor Pack uh, from Magnum Hearted. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And Rainify. Uh, Rainify is for Rain Meter. It's actually an add-on. We're going to go ahead and download that. And then CLN uh, by Toast Brought Pascal. I sh probably should have gotten the other guy, but that's okay. I'll have links to all of this. Okay, so uh, everything is downloaded now. Go to our downloads folder. Okay, so here we are. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, install Sharp E. And you just go through all the steps. Um, you don't need development tools, default, keep going. All right. Uh, after that's installed, go ahead and install Rocket Dock and Rain Meter. And uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to restart the computer and everything. When we come back, you're going to see a similar desktop to what you will have after you install all of that. Alright, so we're back. We just restarted our computer, and you're going to see, wow, this is looking different already. We have Rain Meter up already, and we have Rocket Dock. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, quit out of Rocket Dock. Just get that out of the way re real quick. That's okay, whatever. And then uh, down here, there's going to be a little water droplet. Go ahead and exit Rain Meter. Now we're just going to work with uh, our new desktop here, which is called uh, Sharp E. Now, first thing I want to point out is there's no more Start Menu uh, here you can go up to the sharp E button and go that way see so your start menu and stuff all that stuff quick launch computer control panel configuration everything you can also right click the desktop and have that same access so I find it a little easier uh, and more convenient personally but let's go ahead and start modifying this so first thing we're gonna do is uh, go to the menu here configuration and sharp E center uh, we're gonna go to appearance and uh, you'll see that token is already here in the uh, in the Sharp E Center, which is fine. That's going to work for system icons, but we're going to need it for other things um, as well, which is why we downloaded the pack. Uh, then we're going to go to um, cursors, and getting our custom cursor in here is not going to be easy. So um, I've already done it, okay, uh, which you can see there. But I'm going to go into the uh, folder for um, Sharp E and show you how I got that done. All right, so we're in the uh, Sharp Enviro uh, cursor folder here. And this is my uh, Eclair cursor pack folder. And let me open up another thing where the downloads is. And you'll see uh, I've already extracted the cursor pack here. And I use the small uh, cursor set. That's what I'm using in this video. It seems to be the perfect size for me. And um, what we had to do uh, to make it compatible with uh, Sharp Enviro to get it to sh uh, show up here, we had to make a skin file. I'm going to go ahead and open up that with Notepad. 
and we had to replace uh, the names with uh, different, you know, with the icons that represent the eclair in the same folder. See right there. And whenever you have that, you can just, um, an easy way to do this, just go to another folder like this one here, look at the skin file, and just copy and paste it, whatever you want. And that's how we get our uh, icons working. All right, next thing we're going to do is go to skins. And uh, we're going to go to minimal 2, which I prefer. Click apply. And it's looking really good. Uh, we can also uh, go to um, glass. I'm sorry, schemes. And uh, they have different colors here that you can go with. Uh, I like the black and white one, so I'm going to stick with that. Next is the wallpaper. Now, I've already downloaded a wallpaper um, right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, stretch it. Click apply. Now you can easily do automatic wallpaper changing. It'll just kind of cycle through at whatever uh, number, uh, whatever time frame you want. And uh, we're going to keep it like that. So um, go ahead and close. All right. So uh, it's looking a little bit better, right? Um, but we need to fix a few things. So up here we have some uh, icons and things like that. We have some other things down here. All this is still colorful and everything. So how do we fix that? Well, we're going to go to the configuration center again. We're going to go to toolbars. We're going to go to uh, taskbars, which are the bottom bars. Click edit. And here's the uh, application bar. Now we have Firefox, Windows Explorer, Windows Media Player. Uh, and, you know, uh, what if I want to add something else to it? I click add. I click browse. I'm um, sorry, I can click command. We're going to open up a file here. Um, and we'll just say, uh, let's see here. Um... iTunes. We'll just say iTunes goes there and uh, we'll use a shell icon. That's fine. Add it. Alright, cool. So now uh, iTunes is there and, you know, we can use it whenever we want. Uh, I'll show you how to change those icons to more um, appropriate icons or custom icons for the operating system, but uh, uh, for the shell. Um, but what about these colorful icons over here? We'll do the same thing. Go to Sharp Center. I apologize for my daughter. Um, okay, and then taskbar, or actually system tray. And what we want to do is color blend to uh, a gray. We can just choose from any palette here. Click apply. If we don't like that, we can do something else like this. That'll work. Nice and dark. Okay, uh, so we have that done. Um, now, why don't we uh, make our custom icons for this and we're also going to need to make them for the uh, rocket dock as well alright so I have Photoshop open um, but first what we need to do is uh, get the layer styles from the uh, for the token icon pack uh, I extracted the token icon pack here and we have the template layer styles only and we're going to open that in Photoshop and that's what we have here all this is is just styles for the certain layers okay um, now this is a little PSD that I've made myself where I make all my custom icons and I can just kind of copy and paste the layer styles um, but say for example uh, we're gonna make a complicated icon like the DC Universe logo um, we're dealing with just gray icons so we need to keep that in, into mind I'm gonna take the uh, the polygon lasso tool and um, we're just gonna kind of uh, select the points here and kind of follow along until uh, you know we're, we're mainly just going to get the white parts um, if you come across you know a certain section where you're like oh I don't know if I should select that or not just try and be as minimal as possible you want it to be um, you know recognizable but not too detailed um, because we're just dealing with one color you can certainly do it with multiple colors and everything like that but I'm going for a minimalistic style um, but I'm going to finish this up and then uh, we'll come back to it when it's done so you can see what the selection looks like. Okay, so we have the selection done. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do is get a um, previous icon I've made, like this tribes icon. Select the base color and just fill it in. 
with the paintbrush tool. Now you see how that works? Now we have a flat icon. Now I just need to copy the layer style from, uh, we'll do this one, this was the EverQuest one. Copy layer style, and then right click and paste layer style. And there we have it. We have our icon. And you just save this as a um, PNG, and we'll be able to use that. Okay, so that's how you create custom icons. Um, now I've created a bunch for uh, for these here, and, and some of these actually come with uh, the icon pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix those icons. We're going to go to toolbars, bottom bars, edit. Uh, application bar okay and the first one we're gonna do is Firefox We've got a custom icon token light uh, we can go with PNG which is fine okay internet and um, Firefox there we go click apply and it changes it so I'm gonna do the rest of these and we'll come right back all right, so we're done changing all of our icons on the bottom left. And uh, I guess what we're going to do now is bring our attention to the top right. Now, these are media controls. And this first button here uh, lets you choose which program these buttons will control. I'm going to go ahead and set it to iTunes. And then we also have MS Paint link and a command prompt link to change those uh, if, you, if you want to, because uh, I know I would. But uh, I'm not going to change them right now. But um, go to Toolbars, Top Bars, click Edit. You want to go to button bar, click at it again, and then you just modify them there. Um, but now let's get to uh, the rain meter. And this can be a little more complicated. This is going to be more of what you're doing when you're setting up stuff. What we're going to do now is start installing these um, little themes here. So um, go ahead and install Rainify, apply the theme, but don't launch rain meter after install. We'll do the same with CLN uncheck launch and we'll do the same with the rings uncheck launch alright now we're gonna right click and open up rain meter again right click the icon and click manage so now we have a bunch of stuff here um, we're gonna click on the rings and click load and bada boom there's our rings uh, style there alright that's starting to look pretty cool uh, we're going to do, do Rainify now. Rainify and um, Illustro are the default sort of things. Um, we can load up system to keep track of our uh, system options and things like that. We can do Recycle Bin. A whole bunch of different things. But uh, go through and see what you want to do and um, enable them. And uh, I'll get all the ones I want up and we'll be right back. Alright, so I have all of the uh, rain meter things open. I have all my feeds here. I have the quad core CPU meter. I have the disk, recycle bin, weather, which I didn't set up to, to me, uh, to my location. Google, uh, ensconce, and uh, the calendar and everything like that. Well, I noticed that um, this is a little, the top and bottom bars are a little light uh, for my um, sort of preference. So I'm going to go to the Sharpie Center. Go to appearance, go to uh, schemes, and turn it to black. But I'm going to click edit over here. And uh, where these yellow things are, I'm going to go ahead and change that to um, a red or a gray right now. And then later I'll turn it to red. That way I can draw from it. Uh, it's a little dark. Okay. Uh, but there's yellow and everything in the CPU meter and everything like that. Well, let's go ahead and fix that up. So first we're going to go to uh, settings and load that up. And you see the highlight color. We're going to change that to red. But we're going to make it a 204 for red. Just so that's not too dark. And we can see it a little better. Alright, uh, but you see the disk isn't changed, everything else is. Uh, that's because we went to um, 
a different uh, thing here, disk 2. We're going to edit this, and here, you know, we're getting into I and I files and everything like that. But uh, what we want to look for is we want to look for a uh, yellow color, which it should be right here, and turn this to 204, turn this to 0, and click Save. And we're going to right click and refresh that, and there we go, we have red. And if you need to pause that and go look at it again, uh, it's no problem at all. Uh, we'll go to rings and we want to change this predominantly white ring to red so we're going to do that and what we're looking for is uh, uh, copy one of these we're going to make a color C and we're going to turn it to uh, 204 0 0 and we'll take that out and we're going to save this and now we're going to look for anything with color 1 or color B it's color B as well. There's color one. There's a round line. So we'll go ahead and change this to color C and see what that does. Refresh it. And that's what we wanted. All right. So uh, now we're going to uh, put up our little media player here. That's going to go right there. Uh, and it's actually going to hook up to uh, iTunes, as you can see here. Um, okay, and I'm just going to decline that for now. Then we're going to put up a little slideshow. It's under Reignify. Load that. We're not going to modify it or anything right now. We're just going to put it up. Alright, now uh, we need to change our theme for Windows. Because as you can see, whenever I open up a thing, it's all it doesn't match anything else. And you can see these windows here are going off of the uh, the Windows theme. So what we want to do is uh, go to our downloads and we're going to want I baked and extract that. Going to go in here and we're going to open up the readme. Okay, now for visual styles it says that we're going to need this program Vista Glass. Now I installed Vista Glass and just a warning it is going to install like weather bug and other things like that but um, I'll go ahead and open it for you right now. And uh, you want to click patch uh, the system files. This will not be highlighted if they're not patched. So you just click that, it'll patch them, you restart the computer and you'll be good to go. Uh, then you want to put the theme folder in the Windows Resources theme. Okay? And so what we do is we go into the theme folder, we copy all of this. Okay? We go to uh, our C drive, Windows, Resources, theme and then we just right click right here and paste and you can see all of them are already here now we want to change uh, the way it looks so we'll go to control panel we will go to personalization and we want to change now keep in mind that this will change the background but we want to change it to I baked 3 in Calibri I like Calibri, but they have different uh, different uh, font styles for you. All right, now we're going to change our wallpaper back. Go to Sharp Center, Appearance, Wallpaper. Go to our Downloads. And Apply. All right. So now we're looking a little better. All we're missing now are our icons. You can see that now all of these windows are the same shade of gray. And uh, we need to get our uh, little shortcuts and all that stuff going. We also need our Terran Republic logo. So to do the Terran Republic logo, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Sharp Center. And I'm going to go to uh, Desktop. And I'm going to add an image. And uh, I went online and just found the, the logo for the TR and clicked apply. Now you want to move this logo, uh, the, this window over here because we're going to drag this over here and resize it to fit here. Uh, so we're just going to start scaling it. We'll do about, uh, I don't know, 75. Click apply. See what that does. Nope. Let's go down to 50 maybe. And that's pretty much it.
All right, so we have our Terran Republic logo. We have most of our stuff. Now we need to get Rocket Dock open. So let's get Rocket Dock open. All right, so we have Rocket Dock op open, and this is definitely not working with what we have. So we're going to go to Dock Settings, and first thing we're going to do is change the position to the bottom, center it somewhere over here. Looks good. Okay, so that's our uh, position. Now we're going to go to style. Now the style I like uh, for this particular look I'm going for is very minimal, just white bars. Okay, that's all it is. You can get more themes and everything like that by clicking get more. And you can change how everything works, but that's what I like. Um, also the behavior, uh, I want bounce whenever I click on something. And then for the icons, I want no hover effect at all. I just want it to be very static. I, I like that, you know, static look. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is start editing the uh, the bar here. So I'm going to delete this item, delete that item. For the dock settings, I'm going to go to right click it and click icon. And you'll notice that none of these icons really fit except for these two since I changed those manually. To change those, uh, you actually have to go to the rocket dock folder uh, the icons folder and replace them manually but what we're going to do is uh, go to our uh, little place where we kept all of our icons okay token light all right so now we have all of our icons here uh, just the folder we can draw from and I'm going to go to go uh, to PNG and what I'm changing is the dock settings and for that I'm going to change that to a wrench if I can find it let's see here alright there we go we can change that to a wrench now for other things like this you know say we want to put all of our games on here let's see here computer desktop say so like hey I want steam on here I want tribes I want League of Legends I want MIRC, I want Maya, um, you know, and say that's that's all the stuff we want right now. Um, well, this isn't very organized, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, separator, okay, and we're also going to keep, so we're going to keep our documents over there, we don't need this or this and we'll do this so we have our um, IRC stuff there we got my here and you can play with this um, you know more and everything but now we're gonna start modifying these icons we do the same thing for steam uh, we're gonna go to let's see here our communications and internet and there's a steam logo there now some of these I've made myself um, which you know we've already gone over on how to do that so that should make it easier for you to make too. Now I'm gonna finish modifying this bar and then when we get back I'll uh, show you how to get finished up and how to use this now. Okay now uh, for SOE games uh, you can see I have a whole bunch of launch pads here. What I want to do is first off I want to change the name to uh, Vanguard because that's what the path says the game is for Vanguard and then I want to go to uh, get my icon now there's two different icons I tried making because I didn't know which one would look better you can see here um, you know sometimes you gotta try different things to see which one's gonna work this one obviously looks better so I'm gonna click OK and it's now changed to Vanguard um, that reminds me all control panel like items I don't want it named that I want it named control panel and there we go. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, for the rest of this and then uh, show you how to set up the uh, slideshow and then I think we'll be good. Alright, so now all of my icons are finally set up. Um, and, you know, if you don't like where the position of this is, you can always, you know, kind of adjust a little bit more. You're like, you know what, that looks a little better. Yeah. And then we have the slideshow, which I kind of want it more center. Uh, if you if you hover over it, you'll get a little wrench over here at the top right. 
all we want to do is just browse to uh, the folder that we want uh, the uh, little slideshow to come from. So I'm going to go to Planetide, and I should have a wallpaper here. Yes, I do. And save. And now it's going to go through a whole bunch of different Planetide 2 wallpapers. It's just a folder that I set up. Um, now, if at any point I want to open up the the picture that I see there, I just click on it, and it'll open right up, and then I can go through them all. So that's how that works. Uh, so now, how do we actually use this desktop? Okay, first off, this is the media player. Um, whenever you open up, uh, you know, a, a certain program or something like that, uh, and you have it on the applications bar down here, this is where it will minimize to. So it's a really nice way to keep it nice and simple. Um, for example, if I open uh, Mozilla, since that's taken forever, and I minimize it, it's minimized at the bottom left. So it's not going to be a toolbar down here or, or on the taskbar here at the bottom. If I open up, say, uh, TeamSpeak 3, and I minimize it, well, it's going to minimize to the taskbar, but you can see how it's here at the bottom right there. Um, there's also window previews built right in, so that's always nice. Um decline that and you can see the window preview also works for things that are minimized there uh, there is the uh, multiple desktops now how do these work well uh, if you're familiar with Linux it works very similar to that if you aren't familiar with Linux I'm about to show you so uh, let me open up TeamSpeak 3 again and let's rename that because who wants to actually see that speak 3 all right okay uh, decline that okay release highlights all right so say we have um, you know TeamSpeak 3 and uh, we want to be talking on here but we don't want it to be blocking up uh, Firefox and yes we could minimize it but what if we don't want to deal with that um, we could certainly send it over to desktop 2 and there it is and you can see how the silhouette is now available on here and you can have uh, you know different games on different desktops and everything like that it makes it uh, pretty easy to kinda go through and um, keep track of everything I, I really like it anyway it's it's nice and then over here we have our RSS feeds um, to change the news feed you just click the little wrench there and uh, you'll be able to uh, choose the uh, URL RSS feed for all four then to open up a news post, you just click one, and it'll open it right up. There you go. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, customize it the way that you want. Uh, this is just how I have things set up. I hope this really helped you. And um, if you have any questions, I'll, I'll do my best to try and answer. But um, hopefully, you know, you can get the desktop that you want with this uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'm Sayano. Take care.